everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Monica and frankly today's video has been a long time coming. We are decluttering and organizing my life. We're going to start off with the closet. I've got a couple of drawers in the bedroom full of clothes that I just want to declutter and organize. We're also going to go through like my skincare and organize that and I think my perfumes, hair, like stuff my hair drawer because these are areas of my life that are either really messy like too messy for me to want to deal with and I need to deal with them or I just like in my closet as you can see it's not as disorganized as it has been in the past when I've done these sort of videos I really need to declutter my closet it's a freaking mess this is just a shirt hanging on top of other shirts it's pretty bad <laughs> like I had this categorized like in last year's video and I did a pretty good job of keeping it that way until around like Christmas time and then I just stopped trying. Usually it's been like a total mess but today I actually am in a closet where I have actually managed to maintain pretty much the organization that I set up in last year's video. So, yay for me. But today I really want to be cutthroat. I want to almost do it rapid fire style so I don't have much time to debate it. I don't really want to maybe pile. We'll see if I'm able to do that. <laughs> but I really just, I, I look in here and I'm like, no, it's not disorganized, but there's a lot of clothes. And I feel like there's quite a few clothes that I either don't like, they're not my style anymore, or I just don't reach for. And it's time to declutter them. I feel like I maybe want to mess with my organization a little bit. I do use the other two closets in the house. Um, honestly, I use them in the fall and winter to kind of section off specific fall and winter clothes. So I need to figure out if I want to stick with that. And then like the other closet is like coats and jackets, which I think I'm just going to stick with because I don't need those to be accessible to me all year because it's going to get warm. We're really going to pare down my wardrobe and just, you know, kind of try to get rid of a decent amount of stuff that I just don't wear anymore. I'm not going to get rid of stuff I actually like and actually wear, but I am going to just get rid of stuff that I do not wear. We're going to donate it, of course. Like, I'm not going to throw it away or anything. I'm going to donate it. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, we're going to start with the closet, make our way to the drawers, and go from there. So let's get into it. I need to be cutthroat, rapid fire. Hold me to that. Make sure I stick with that. Let's get started. What I'm going to do is literally go like yes no yes no yes no so let's just go ahead and start over here uh yes i wear this all the time it's a jean jacket my rain jacket yes that's actually new my old rain jacket um honestly just declutter it it has this velcro in it that literally sticks to my hair and my clothes and drives me crazy it's a nice jacket it's a north face so somebody will enjoy it but we're donating it i just thrifted this in our vermont vlog in vermont <laughs> so definitely keeping this it's a mountain hardware jacket i had to really emphasize saying hardware because i just felt like i wasn't going to say that word right uh this is like a little athletic jacket i wear it a lot especially during the springtime when i need a lighter jacket um this Yes, I just recently got this and love it. It's very comfy. So this was something I bought for the Carrie Underwood concert last year. I'm never gonna wear it, honestly. So we're gonna donate it. Somebody will like it. Yes, this is something I'll wear for work. I work from home, so casual, comfy clothing is what I go for. We've got this UPF jacket. I actually do wanna keep this. Totally forgot I had it, but I do wanna keep it because I need all the SPF protection I can get. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm quite fair. What is going on with my shirt? So this, yes, yeah, gonna keep, just got it, love it. This is a Lululemon jacket that I thrifted in that Vermont vlog, gonna keep it. Yes, yes, like I said, I wear a lot of this kind of stuff at home. I love athleisure wear and comfy wear to work in. Oh my goodness. Athletic jacket, yes. Athletic jacket, yes. <laughs> Two athletic shirts I just bought in a spring video I did, if you wanna go check that out. They're the same shirt, just different colors. Calia or whatever by Karen Wood. I do wear this, so yes. You'll see there's a lot of stuff in the front that I do wear. This, however, I'm going to donate. It's actually quite cheap. I got it from Amazon. It's cute, but it's really scratchy. Ah, uh, yes, sweatshirts. 
These will be great for work during the spring and summer because I keep my house cold and the office where I work is one of the coldest rooms in the house. So these will be great. Sweatshirt, this one I just got. And this is a Stars Above sweatshirt from Target. Highly recommend it. I think it's actually like a sleeping shirt, but I mirrors it as a sweatshirt. Yes, like I said, I use these a lot. Yes, I'm gonna keep this. This is a two, a two shirt pack I got from TJ Maxx recently. I really do wear this stuff a lot, so. Yes, we're gonna get to the nose, I promise. Just happened to be where I started from in the closet. Uh, I'm not gonna get rid of a Swifty sweatshirt, so keeping that. Um, this is really comfy. I got it from a Walmart a while ago. Um, I do really like it. Okay, yes. <laughs> Donate. This I got from Shein. It's cute, but I never wear it. I haven't worn it in like, I don't know, almost two years. Yes, love this sweatshirt. So comfy and not gonna get rid of a boxer. Anything dog related, I'm not gonna get rid of. This is just a pink sweatshirt. I wear it all the time. This is a matching sweatshirt with my dog. Don't judge me. I'm definitely gonna keep this. It's really cute. I have had it for, gosh, like five years, but I love it. I feel like it's gone in and out of style and I've just kept it because I liked it so much the whole time. <laughs> These are Avia sweatshirts from a Walmart. They're super comfortable. As you can see, I really like sweatshirts. I'm not gonna buy any sweatshirts anytime soon, but I do really like sweatshirts. This is what I'm going to donate though. I'd never wear it. It's a cold shoulder one. <laughs> Just haven't worn it in so long. This is a Reebok sweatshirt I actually really do like, so I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> I have a lot of sweatshirts, but I really do like all of them. This I am gonna donate because it's very similar to the Calia by Carrie Underwood one, and I like that one more, so donating that one. These are two um, dog sweatshirts, German Shepherd and Boxer. Thomas got these for me for Christmas, like I said. Would never get rid of those. This I'm gonna donate, never wear it, forgot I had it. It's just like a, an athletic pullover, but I never wear it. This I got from Walmart, never wear it. This is from Old Navy, love it, love this like chartreuse color, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I bought this right before Taylor Swift and Joanne announced their separation. However, I did go to Cornelia Street, and so I'm gonna keep it. I do like it, and I love that song, even though they broke up. <laughs> these two I never plan on getting rid of. I mean, never say never, but oops. These are like pullover sweatshirts, and they're so soft. They're not, they're almost like dressier sweatshirts. I don't know if you can tell. This is like a cropped hoodie from Target. I love this color, so I am gonna keep it. Keep in mind, I do really wear these at work, <laughs> or for work. Um, this I've had for so many years. It's from Target. It's so cute. I always come back to it and love it. So I am gonna keep that. It's a little warm. So another sweatshirt. I have a problem, but I do wear this a lot. So I'm gonna keep it. So note to self, don't buy any sweatshirts. This is from Shein. Very similar to that Calia one. Um, so I'm gonna declutter this. I haven't worn it in years. Honestly, forgot I had it. I've got quite a lot of white shirts. This one I like a lot. It's really, it's one I thrifted. It, It's just kind of a really comfy shirt. Honestly, I don't, I mean, it's nothing special, but I really like it. Oh, that didn't last very long. <laughs> well, that didn't last very long either. Anyway, so yeah, I'm keeping that other white shirt. I just like it. I'm decluttering both of these. These are just, it's got a V-neck from Madewell, so somebody's gonna really like that. I got it from Nordstrom Rack though, so I got it for cheaper. This one is from a, it's called a Rebel Society. I think I got it from TJ Maxx. It's cute, but I just never reach for it. Here's that Madewell shirt in gray. I'm gonna donate this one too. I have other V-necks that I like more than those. It's just fit quite right. These are some long sleeve shirts. They're all the same, but I love these for like the fall. So let me just move all of these. Yeah, I, I, I like them a lot. So I have five different colors. So I'm gonna keep these. It's probably dangerous to hang that there, but I am. <laughs> okay, um, this is a Banana Republic uh, V-neck that I've had for a while like maybe since high school. I love this though. It's one of the most comfortable V-necks, so keeping that. No boundaries shirt. It's cute, but I'm gonna declutter it. I did get this from Shein. I don't shop from Shein anymore for obvious reasons, but uh, I do really like it, so I'm gonna keep it because the damage has already been done. Oh, I almost was taking off like I was gonna get rid of it. This I got for 
the Taylor Swift concert last year, dressed as Taylor Swift did in Willow, but like an athletic version. So this was, it was like a last minute outfit because I ended up getting other tickets, so I got to go twice. And I don't take it for granted, but I am gonna declutter it because I don't wear it. These three really cute shirts, but I didn't, I didn't wear these last year. So they'll be perfect for somebody to get for spring and summer. This is a v-neck that I really like, so I'm gonna keep another good shirt to wear on the house or church. Love this, got it at Target. It's so, so comfortable. And let's see, oh this, I like this, but I just don't reach for it anymore. This is one I got from Five Below. I love this, it's like a little baseball shirt. Um, and it's sage green and white, so I can't lose with it. I'm gonna declutter the purple one, because honestly, I've never reached for it. It's another Walmart brand, and so I'm gonna let somebody else get use out of that, but I am gonna keep the blue one, just to have one shirt like this at least. Banana Republic shirt, haven't reached for it, so declutter that. Keep this I've had forever, but it's so comfortable and I love it. It's from Airpostel before they changed their logo. Uh, this I just got, isn't this so pretty? Obviously I'm keeping it, but it's so, so pretty. It's so high quality, it's from Target. Shein, I'm gonna declutter it. I haven't worn it in so long. It's really comfy. I just, it's just not in style anymore. Uh, this I actually thrifted and was unsure about it when I thrifted it. It is from Altered State, so it's a good shirt, but I haven't worn it in about a year, so I'm gonna declutter it. I'm actually gonna end up donating it back to where I thrifted it. This is a little v-neck from Banana Republic. I do wanna keep this because I reach for it and it's really cute. Don't even remember buying this. Okay, decluttering. I, if I don't remember buying it and I don't see myself wearing it, there's no reason for me to keep it. This is from Lulu, it's got a thread on it. <laughs> but I really do like this. Um, it makes me look tanner than I am. Let's look at this together. This is from Wild Fable. It's cute. It's cute, but I'm gonna declutter it. Haven't worn it in a while. That's really comfy. Yeah, I, just, I wore that last year. Okay, we've made it now to the like band and music artist area. I'm not gonna declutter any of this. I also have like winery stuff right here. So winery and like breweries. I, I collect things from bands and winery breweries travel. Okay, so these are all Staying. And also Alabama stuff is over there, um, like from like the team. <laughs> so I'm going to keep all of this. I may do a little reorganizing of where these go, but I am gonna keep those. All right, so I'm starting to grab stuff from over here. This is a denim black romper. It's really, really cute. Um, so I'm gonna keep this. Being short sometimes has its cons, gotta say. I really like denim and cargo style rompers so keeping all of these this is the cutest romper so i'm gonna keep that i love that color all right yeah casual romper i want to keep because i like to wear them a lot this such a pretty like long sleeve romper it makes me feel like tinkerbell so i'm gonna keep that one these two are gonna go these are both skirts faux leather and just like this other skirt i don't think they're skirts. i believe they're both skirts I haven't worn them, <laughs> either ever or in a while. This I am going to declutter. I ordered another romper, very similar to it, but better, from Abercrombie, and I thought this was gonna be cotton, and it's not. It looks like cotton, but it's not. So, I'm gonna declutter it because it's not at all what I was expecting. I wore it once, and I was like, mm, no. I'm gonna declutter this because I haven't even worn it and it broke, like it just flat out broke. I'm disappointed in that altered state because I love you, but uh, I like didn't even get to wear you. Honestly, I never wear this, so gonna give it away. It's very cute, but I've never worn it. I got this from TJ Maxx and I've never worn it, so I've had it for over a year, almost a year and a half, so I'm just gonna donate it. I'm gonna leave it on the hanger it's on because that's what I bought it on. This is a dress from Altered State. It's way too short. <laughs> it's so cute, but way too short. It should be a romper, but it's not. So I'm decluttering that. This is not at all what I expected. It's from Target and I love the color, but it's not what I expected. So I've never worn it. So we're gonna declutter both of those. I'm gonna get rid of this because I literally have two of the exact same shirt. I don't know how it happened, but it did. I'm gonna declutter both of these. 
I haven't worn them. They're really cute. I just haven't worn them, so I won't miss them if they're gone, right? All right, this I got for spring last year and never wore it. It is from Target, but you can see, I don't even know the brand, Future Collective. It was cute, it was a cute concept, but I never reached for it, so it's gone. All right, we are at jeans now. This needs to be decluttered because I have some in here that are from when I was my smallest, when I had disordered eating problems. And so those are not gonna fit. So I need to declutter some jeans and give myself some room. So what are these? If I don't know them, I probably shouldn't keep them. I never wear these. I don't even remember having these. They're cute, but clutter. Oh, these are cute, I love these. These are democracy jeans. I'm gonna keep these. These are from Days. I really like these. These still fit, but I'm almost thrown off by like the end. You know what though? Every time I wear them, I think they're so cute. They're my only white jeans. These do fit perfectly, and I only need one pair of white jeans. We're getting to the ones I'm about to declutter. Uh, these I have loved for years, and they fit through all of my different stages because uh, they're very comfy and stretchy, and they're, they're not going anywhere. I love them. These are so different, and I love them. They're different from anything else I have, um, so I'm gonna keep these. Abercrombie & Fitch. Oh. These don't fit anymore. <laughs> They're like a zero or something, I don't know. I haven't even worn these. These fit, but these are so scratchy. They're from So. S-O. Is this an, a Walmart brand? I think it is. Um, they just are not comfortable, so getting rid of those. These don't fit anymore. I just don't like the way these fit. The only black jeans I have, love these. They're not even quite denim. I mean, they are, but they're not. Um, all these cargo pants, I'm into them, and if as long as nothing changes, I'm gonna keep all of these. This I'm gonna get rid of. This I'm going to declutter because I've just found it's a dress, and it doesn't have any shorts underneath it, so I just feel exposed. So cute, like athletic rompers. They're basically the same. Oh my goodness, but different colors. So I'm going to keep those and pull those to the front. All right, a tennis skirt that I have had for years, but honestly, I, I just got one that's high-waisted. This is just a Nike skirt. I actually did thrift this, and it's probably gonna go back to the same place I thrifted it from. It's really cute. It does have shorts, but I like the other one I got a little bit better. Look at this whole pile. There's an even bigger pile, or messier pile, I should say, over there that I'm donating. So now it is time to organize. I'm gonna do this like in a montage fashion and I'm gonna show you how I did it when I'm done with that. But I feel like I did pretty good. I don't think I got rid of half, but I do think I got rid of like 40%. the closet which was like the main area I want to declutter and organize these two drawers so this is like pajamas and like random t-shirts and stuff like that and this drawer up here uh, you'll see what that looks like but it is a mess I can't even get it open easily but I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a montage of me cleaning up both of these drawers and then I'll kind of show you the end result of everything. So like this drawer, the closet, or these two drawers, the closet, kind of how I've organized things. Um, I have moved things to uh, one of the other closets. So I'll also show you that. After this, I want to organize my skincare drawer and hair care drawer in the bathroom and I think I'm gonna do that ASMR style. We're gonna mix all the styles today. So um, I'm gonna start off with this drawer and I'm just gonna do a montage style like I said and as you can see this drawer needs to be organized and honestly some of these things need to be moved up to like the top of the closet or something.
All right, so I just finished these two drawers. They look so much better. Uh, as you can see, this is way more organized. I've got joggers. I've got like leggings and flared leggings. Yoga pants is how I know them. Uh, some casual shorts, athletic shorts that are different from casual shorts. They're like that spandexy or athletic feel. Um, some workout tops. And then I did end up putting these tank tops back in here because I'll wear these with um, a lot of like the bottoms I have in here. So I wanted them to kind of be easily accessible. I'm moving some of the other stuff out of here and that'll go to the top of the closet. And then the other stuff, I did declutter some stuff. So got rid of some stuff, which is good. And yeah. All right, so down here, this looks way better. Um, this is like a casual like lounge set. We've got pajamas. These are the t-shirts I used to dry my hair. Those could go in like the hair drawer, but they're not going to because I feel like that's just not the right place. So like old t-shirts I used to dry my hair and then just like some casual t-shirts, the rest of the t-shirts that were in here um, and some random stuff I'm gonna declutter. Most of these, except for one pair of shorts at the very bottom, I'm not gonna declutter the gray ones down there, but the rest of these I'm gonna declutter. I'm gonna put these at the top of my closet because they're like my fall pajama pants and these need to go in like either the top of the closet or actually some of them do need to hang with their like certain categories they belong in. So let me go show you the closet. I think it looks better in my opinion. I don't even know if it looks that different to you, but it looks a little less tight in the distance between the hangers, if that makes any sense. I feel like it looks less cluttered somehow. So we've got skirts right here, rompers that kind of flow into uh, folly dresses because I wanted to hang like all of like dresses and rompers together as much as I could. Then we flow into like the athletic rompers and the golf gear. Then we've got um, church shirts, cute crop tops, like dressy body suits, long sleeve shirts are back there. We've got a couple of things hanging right here so they wouldn't get caught, including this athletic jumpsuit I just got. It's really cute. Um, then we've got uh, like my most used jackets sweatshirts sweatshirts athletic -y stuff this is stuff I'll reach for a lot when I'm working from home like I said then we've got some just like comfortable t-shirt types that flow into v-necks and then over here we've got band music and like play stuff like merch I guess so like Taylor Swift Billy Joel um you know uh the Jersey Boys shirt for when I went to the plays there and then I've got jeans and cargo pants I put them back here because I'm not going to be using them very much right now but I may front those when the season changes but other than that this is how I'm leaving it it looks so good let me show you the other closet where I put some of the other stuff I've got sweaters over here these flow into like um shirts that I got when I went like out of town or like a winery so winery brewery brewery mm. um and then like city shirts so like new york um nashville so on and so forth any locations and then alabama shirts and then back there we've got like seasonal shirts so like a saint patty's day shirt a christmas shirt like a couple of christmas shirts halloween so i am excited to put these here so i'm able to actually see them and reach them better especially when the football season comes along i'm gonna want this section a lot all right so here we are at my skincare drawer and my hair care drawer i'm gonna start off with my hair i mean it's not really hair because my hair care that i use when i get out of the shower is in here but this is totally organized which is awesome but this is like brushes extra hair bands I mean it's a it's a really a mess and it needs to be organized I just got these um, literally they just got delivered as I was recording and they're hard to fit in frame because that sort of works but anyway um, I just got these today and I'm going to use them to organize my skincare and see if I can organize them or use them to organize them uh, for my hair stuff so we're just gonna kind of see but i'm gonna do this asmr style because i feel like that'll it'll make some good noise for asmr so we're gonna do that um so yeah let's just go ahead and get started
All right, so here's my hair care drawer now. Um, it looks just so much better. I These containers I got don't fit quite right because I have like narrow drawers. So um, I did the best I could. I used two smaller containers back here and kind of like combined them to make them one. We've got like my most used things right here. So all of my brushes, round brush, regular brush, wide tooth comb, my headband that I used to push back my hair in the morning, uh, like when I'm putting skincare on. This is my bamboo brush that I use right before I shower, like wash my hair and just like this like little bitty comb. I've got scrunchies under like on the back here and underneath here and then small scrunchies and smaller headbands. The only claw clips that work for me are right here. Honestly, I decluttered some. I'll show you that in a second. I've got this sleepy time or what is this called? Sleepy tie. I'm still trying that out. Um, it's like where you can like wrap your blowout in there. I just don't know if I want to declutter it yet. I'm still trying it out. Clips and like other clips. So this looks so much better and I just drastically reduced things. Some things I'm just gonna like throw away. <laughs> All of this stuff I'm gonna get rid of. I'll probably give this to somebody. I will need to wash it now that it's been on the floor. But um, oh, here's a claw clip too that my hair doesn't fit in. So let's see, these are gonna move to where my uh, t-shirts are that I used to dry my hair because that's the same category. Um, I feel like that'll work. Then I'm gonna move my straightener to under here where my shark and hair dryer and curling iron are. And then these I got, um, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think I saw that they said fine hair when I ordered them online. So I'm gonna see if maybe one of my friends wants like this little duo pack. Um, and I mean, I can, offer this i have used it like once but of course if i did give this to somebody i would wash it so this is the stuff that's either moving or being like given away i've got my shower caps oh i guess my shower caps could go like right here yeah that'll work um and all this other stuff is going to be thrown away so uh, that feels so much better. Now look at my skincare drawer. It looks so much better. Containers didn't fit quite right in here either, but I made it work. All my nighttime skincare routine is in one of the big containers. I've got like my cotton rounds that I use and um, my birth control, uh, my cleansing balm, pimple patches. My morning routine is over here and like spare stuff is right here. And then my gua sha is over to the right. I just started using this. I've had it for a while, but I just started using it and I really want to get into a habit of it, so I want to make sure I see it. But both of these drawers just look so much better. All right, so here are my fragrances. I just want to do a quick declutter. I'm going to keep this. This is the Seven Woods Vanilla, <laughs> Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods perfume. I love this. Uh, this I saw somebody using in a YouTube video and it smells okay, but I never use it. And frankly, it's more of a wintry fall scent anyway that I don't reach for. So I'm gonna declutter that. I don't even know the name of it. Um, just about done with somebody would. I had to move the camera to focus on this bottle because it would not focus. But um, this is the Fleur Somebody Wood Perfume. I'm literally just about done with this. I'm gonna finish it up and put it in my next empties video and I will repurchase this for fall and winter. It's one of my go-to fall and winter shades. I love it. Then I have the Nest Indian Jasmine perfume. I love this. I've been like living in this, to be honest. It's been living in my purse. I had to pull it out just for this video, but I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. It's so, so good for its spring summer scent. If you are somebody who gets headaches really easily from perfumes and fragrances, this will not give you that. And also the bottle is so beautiful. We've got the minis and the regular size of Replica Sailing Day. So here's the mini with that and then salt uh, from Ellis Brooklyn. I'm gonna keep these, those two will go back in my purse because they're they're like my spring and summer scents. So I'm gonna keep all of these. Um, this is the hair and body mist I've been using. I use it like every day now that I work from home and I wanna smell good. I've really been loving it. It's like nine bucks or something, it's great. Um, Davidoff Run Wild, I'm gonna keep this. This is my honeymoon slash wedding perfume. That's what I, this is what I bought when I was in Aruba. So very sentimental. Um, I need to finish this up. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Such a classic scent. Why isn't it focusing? I love this. I'm not sure if I'd repurchase it immediately because I do have enough perfume for spring and summer that I don't feel like I need this, but I love this scent so much. All right, so the Fresh Cream um, Warm Cashmere Perfume from Philosophy. 
I bought this and was like, oh, it's whatever. But honestly, I got really, really into it during fall and winter. It's really a fall and winter scent, but my gosh, it's like an elevated version of like a Bath and Body Works. I said bath, weird bath and body works <laughs> uh, perfume. But um, honestly, I just, I love it. Uh, I didn't think I would when I first got it, but I lived in it throughout fall and winter, as you can see. We're just about to declutter some more things, but real quick, Versace Bright Crystal. I love this. Uh, this is a perfume that Thomas got me my first birthday we were together, so I will always have that on hand. Bulgari Omnia, I got this when we were in Mexico. For a cruise it's beautiful i have a problem keeping boxes um anyway so you already saw that i'm decluttering this no name perfume i'm also going to declutter a black opm this stuff gives me like a horribly awful headache um i get so nauseous almost to the point of like getting sick love the bottle but it's way too strong so i'm gonna declutter this see if somebody else wants it then i have this amber fragrance oil this smells so good in the bottle but when i put it on it almost smells like bad produce i don't know like no we're we're getting rid of it <laughs> And then lastly, I'm gonna declutter, what the heck is this called? Sophia Isabel. I don't even know what the name of this scent is. Um, it just says natural perfume oil. I like this until I put it on. Kind of the same thing with the other fragrance or perfume oil I was just talking about, the amber one. It doesn't wear well on my skin. I, I don't know if it's my body chemistry or what, but I'm gonna declutter it. And then lastly, I have this Fleur Fragrance like sampler pack. I got this free uh, with purchase of one of i don't think it was this perfume where is it it wasn't somebody would but it was like the other one solar power that i love i need to repurchase that one um and they sent this to me i haven't opened it so i want somebody else to kind of try it out because i already have enough perfume so i don't really think i need to break this open and have even more so i'm gonna see if like maybe my mom wants it i think she would really like this she loves the fleur solar power perfume and the somebody would so i have a good feeling that she would like maybe this so these are the ones i'm getting rid of these are the ones i'm keeping not that much of a difference in terms of like you know the fact that i did i'm not really getting getting rid of that much unless you count these individually but um i am happy to just have the ones that i like reach for all the time all right well we are done it took a long time to get here and if you stuck around to the end well you have no idea how much I appreciate you because I know that it was a long one. I mean, it was like hours for me to film. I'm going to try to get it down to way less than hours for you to view, but it needed to be done. It needed to happen. I needed to declutter. I needed to get rid of all the stuff that I'm not using, and I feel like I was successful at that. I'm so excited to donate all these clothes that I still need to bag up. <laughs> They're behind you because I didn't want them in the view, but I need to bag those up and I'm so excited to donate them and just be rid of them to be honest because not to be all Marie Kondo like, but they weren't, they weren't bringing me joy. <laughs> or I just didn't feel joy looking at all the clutter is really what it was. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to declutter parts of your life that may need to be decluttered or maybe you just feel the itch to clean up your life because it's spring and we all get cleany and decluttery in springtime. I know I do at least. And so I really enjoy watching these types of videos so I hope that I provided entertainment for you and you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Also subscribe if you have not already. In my analytics, it shows that most people who come back to my channel and watch my videos are not subscribed. So hit that button. It does you a favor. It does me a favor. It's doing everybody favors. Everybody wins. So you'll definitely want to mash that subscribe button so you know exactly when I upload. Have those notification bells on so you really know exactly when I upload. And I promise it's, it's a win for everybody. But anyway... I'm going to go. I'm going to let you guys go and have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go get some dinner, hang out with the pups, watch some YouTube, and I need to bag up these clothes first. But anyway, I hope you guys have the best rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one.